Hi everyone. Today my friend Hero is going to teach me how to make the best Greek style meatballs or kefteres. But of course, you can mix ground beef, ground beef with pork, mm. or some people like it uh, okay. chicken, of course, okay. or some people can even do with vegetables if they're vegetarian. But the traditional keftedakia, mm. Greek meatballs, are with beef. Today we do our own, and we have our meat already prepared. Maybe two, three pounds of it, like a kilo. Yeah, like and a kilo is just pork. Uh, this yeah. is just pork because yeah. you, you know you don't need pork. Yeah. I mean uh, beef. Meat. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But this is just pork. It doesn't matter. The taste will be wonderful. Uh -huh. The procedure is the same, mm -hmm. no matter what kind of meat you use. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we we cut the onion. Do you want to chop the onion? Sure. Why don't you go ahead and chop the onion for me? One of the very very important ingredients of uh, kestedakia, mm -hmm. Greek uh, uh, meatballs, meatballs mm -hmm. is the bread. We take stale, a day or two stale yes. bread, mm -hmm. but not the outside, the inside, okay? Mm -hmm. Or uh, bread crumbs, although I, my mother's recipe and my grandmother's recipe, mm -hmm. it's the bread, the inside of the bread, kori, it's like the kori of the oh, eye, kori, yeah. yes, the kori, yes, we dip it in water, mm -hmm. a little bit of water, here we are, the bowl with the water, so you will soften up. Mm -hmm. So that acts as a binder, I guess, right? Correct. The, yeah. Actually a binder, but makes it fluffier and softer. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Put in water. Excess, squeeze the excess water off. Oh, okay. So, yes, you squeeze the excess water off. Mm -hmm. So like you need another one? No, no, no. It's okay. Oh, you put directly on the meat. Yes, yes. You put directly on the meat. You know, you need both the... Uh, definitely, two? definitely, oh, absolutely. So this must meet, I, de I definitely need both. So you have a kilo of um, pork, uh, ground pork there. Mm -hmm. So you're using two red onions, medium size. Two red or, you know, one, one and a half, but this is good. Yeah. It's yeah. not too big. Not too really big. Nice. Exactly. And what yeah, I, I love usually it. like to do uh -huh. is I like to pre-fry it. Mm. A lot of people use it directly. Mm -hmm. They chop it and put it in the food, like with other kind of Greek foods. Mm -hmm. But I like to fry it, you know, mm -hmm. to like to saute it in uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes it a little bit softer and tasty. Salt is my essential <laughs> first aid <laughs> ingredient. Okay. And I use it abundantly, not excessive, but definitely abundantly. Pepper is mandatory, of course, mm -hmm. to bring out the taste of everything. You know, is it okay? This... Yeah, I got thin. Yeah, okay. thin. Okay. Yeah. And of course, mm -hmm. I will mix now just to bind the, mm -hmm. the soft bread. Okay. And the bread I bought was uh, rosemary. So it takes like, Oh, that will be great taste. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I mix with my hands. Okay. It's nothing better than cooking with friends. Of course. And it tastes yeah. even better, particularly when you share the after cooking exactly. eating experience. <laughs> I will put two eggs. Okay. You know, I'll crack two eggs with a yolk. Okay. okay. It's essential. So you mix the uh, ground uh, pork okay. with um, eggs. Eggs. Okay. Now comes the ouzo. Oh, you're putting ouzo now. You want to have mandatory Greek, <laughs> beautifully tasting. Usually I don't even measure, but today for your sake and for all your viewers. You shouldn't be measuring. You should just go. All right, I go. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's say one, maybe, hmm, I'll see. 
maybe a little bit more. You want to start to smell like uzo. uzo. You want to taste like Greek smell, you know? So this is the, yeah. this is the drunken... Uh, oh, well, I think now we put a little bit too much. Never mind, put it in. <laughs> put it in, put it in. <laughs> Oh, I can I could I should not say you can put as much as you want because you want meat with uzo. You don't want uzo, uzo. with meat. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. You're right. So let yeah. me put this in the yes. oil. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Roast a little bit of thing, please. I mean, sauté. Ah, Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of the wheat in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at this. Smell this. Oh my god. This is <laughs> this, this is, is creepy today. Yes. Okay. Let me cross it in my hand. Cross it. Yeah, go ahead and put it. Maybe like a, a, um, a tablespoon or two. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. A little, a little bit more. I want to go everywhere. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Mm. This smells this grease. Is, this is just grease. I want you to chop me some of your beautiful garden parsley. Okay. Yeah. I don't mind all of it. All of it? Yeah, why not? It's a lot. Parsley is never enough, is it? Uh, okay, I will. Okay, it I will not do any harm. Do. It will mm -hmm. add like yeah. the incredible, delicious uh, yeah, smell of parsley. I'll just save a couple of them because of later I want to make for the decoration. Salad. Okay, yeah, salad. Okay. yeah, it's salad too. Oh, you okay. wanted me to not throw the stem? No, no. Chop it very thinly, mm. very thinly, and we'll put we'll also the stem. Mm -hmm. Or I'll take it. Well, no? Chop it very thinly. Okay. Very thinly. Okay, sounds good. Look. Well, yeah. Thin. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, this is, needs to go. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why I always prepare or uh, prefer my hands over gloves or anything. You know, uh, that's the one thing which where I draw the line is the onion and uh, garlic. garlic. Oh. And, uh, you know, I just can't handle it. Usually the... I don't put garlic in this kind you of don't? thing. You no. I don't know why, but I just don't. Although I use garlic abundantly and all the time and mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. But for this kifteris, I do really? not use garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to use it? Why not? I think if you can. Nice. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I just don't put garlic in my potatoes. Everybody has their own recipe. You know what? If I don't have to chop garlic, I'll be an even bigger fan, <laughs> so we can you make know, it. You know, there must seem some sure you have. Okay, put it in. Never mind. Put it in. You, when it fries, it will fry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. No, 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 put it here. Put it here. Okay. Directly, never mind. Not yeah. in the... No, it's okay. Directly. I have more. It's okay. growing at the back. No, I think it will plant. I want to see the greenery mm -hmm. in the in the mixture. I want to see the green. Okay, maybe well, go slowly because we may not use the whole thing. Yep. Put more. Okay, more. A little bit more. I think a little more. Before. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. But I think that's enough. That's yeah, enough. And you know what? I need some flour because when we make the kiftedakia, mm -hmm. we need to put them in flour before we, we dump them in the hot olive oil. I want you to grate a little, a cup of tomatoes. Oh, okay. Fresh washed tomatoes. I already washed this. Because it will make the kiftedas light. Okay. Okay, now that you grated uh, thinly the tomatoes, okay. we'll put them in the... Can you bring it here? Yeah, near? absolutely. Yeah. We'll put it in the mixture. The water too? Yes, why not? A little bit. Okay, that's plenty. Okay. If, if it feels a little runny, the mixture, mm -hmm. we can add some breadcrumbs. Okay. So you know, they are there for us there in case. See how it so feels you, the hand. trick is that you are really, really mixing it super well yeah, so that yeah, everything yeah. is incorporated. Absolutely, all the mix, all the blending of the of the spices uh -huh. and the ingredients blends together beautiful. All the ingredients. You see, I do, I want this to feel, you know, when I can make a, a ball uh -huh. to be put a little bit inside, just a tiny. Okay. Is... Yeah, put a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Here. Just. Yeah, okay, that's enough. Let me see. It depends on what kind of size you want. I don't like them very big, 
They do shrink a little bit when you you eat them. You when you eat them, okay. You can put them in flour. Shall I give you a tray or something where you can put all those things? Yeah, you can. Is it a good size? Ah, great size. Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, you Just can, go ahead and put it there, and I will prepare them before we cook them. Actually, you know what? Let me move and clean some of this out of your way. Let you see, I do it in my open. hands first. You see, it becomes pretty good. Put a little flour. You can do different sizes. If you are to have a big party, you mm -hmm. can have smaller, smaller bites, you see? Mm -hmm. You can actually have some toothpaste fix and that'll be nice. In the hot oil, mm -hmm. in the hot oil, with my hands, carefully though, Carefully, you don't get burned. Okay. You can bake them as well. You know, if you you have to be on a strict diet and you wish to eat them, mm -hmm. but you can because you know whatever reasons you can bake them, and, and uh, you know they'll be all right baked. They have to brown quite well, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me lower this a little bit. So I don't burn them extensive, ex, uh, externally and uh, be uncooked inside. It doesn't take very long, a few minutes, but you have to watch them. You don't want them being burned, okay? When I cut one, it shouldn't be the, uh, red inside. That's the way to cut the potatoes, by the way. You see them? Please. Uh, uh, you see, that's the way we cut the potatoes. We slice several times mm -hmm. around and mm -hmm. then we cut just like that. Yeah. Right. Okay, Christina took over the quesadake now and she's doing a fantastic job. Barbara Christinaki, <laughs> you did even better than I did. <laughs> no, she cut the no, potatoes. No, no, no. That, I don't think no, so. No, no. <laughs> she cut the potatoes. And what I do, my secret, mm -hmm. is I always put salt in my potatoes before I cook them. Oh, it makes them so yummy. So I put salt in it. You're doing a fantastic job. Maybe next time I will wear gloves when I do this. It's because Actually, I see it doesn't it, stick. It doesn't stick. Yes. Bravo. <laughs> you see, I'm learning also. So we'll put some of the potatoes inside. Sure. It has to be cut. So we'll do three portions. My grandchildren absolutely love this. Patates, tiganikes, eliniques, yayaka. Yeah. I usually do rosemary when I bake lamb. You know that. When you bake lamb, you always put the rosemary. Why? But why not? Good idea. Okay. Here you go. Okay. 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 I started with high heat, but I turn it down a little bit because, as I said, I don't want the, the outside to burn. Some of the potatoes, let's dry them in the in paper. Put some of this. Be careful. Yeah. Look at this. 
Who we have the wreath around the Eftazakia. Yamas! Yamas! Make it the Zakia! You put that in the Zakia's Greek style! Yamas at all! Best is the Zakia ever put in my mouth. Oh, thank you! I'm so proud of you! Oh! This is so moist! So flavorful! I was praying that this is not gonna turn. turn um, look at this! I was praying that this is not going to turn dry. Ah! No! Mm. Look at it! 